guys welcome to my next notion series part two today as promised i will teach you how to automate a habit tracker inside of notion and so if you wondered how to quickly log your habits in your notion workspace this is the video for you i'll show you it on a specific example how to automate checkboxes, how to edit records, not create them. So let's get started. The first thing you should do is to create a new database inside of Notion. Hit edit page, type in habits or habit tracker, wherever you want. Uh, an add icon, for example. Uh, the mounting uh, also if you don't want to waste a lot of time on creating a database you can scroll all the way down to the personal section of templates and choose habit tracker once you hit it click use and you will have this set up uncheck all of the check boxes go to every single property and cut the emoji from it this will be useful later on so just just do it the process will be much more simple for you later clear it and also in these brackets i prefer to type to type hours instead of minutes because there will be a lot of numbers at the end of the week so if you if you noticed this will no longer change we will not add new records new pages this will look like that forever maybe this is not the best solution at the time but i think it's okay for just logging habits for tracking them throughout the week this is my own own way of using it also i recommend to sum this numbers numbers of screen time hours uh, count the check percentage in every checkbox property and you you don't need to calculate the number of weekdays and the last part of it is the invitation of the integration so you can actually use the integration uh, uh, that we we've built in the last video or you can create a new one because you know how to do it in white and in white notion test as in previous video done let's make sure yes notion test can add it integration okay the notion part is now done now we should move on to all right guys uh let's continue our process of automating habit tracking of notion so the next part is of course building the shortcut i will build it step by step so you understand how does it really work so i'll call it habits simply just habits and the first action actually two actions are going to be dictionaries so you go to search field and add dictionary number one and dictionary number two right after that you will go add new item in the first dictionary this will be the text and in the key field you should type monday for example the next two only the first three letters of week each weekday should be added though thursday friday fry set and sun in, the, in this triple letter format then what you should put here is ID for each page in Notion. So we will now go to Monday, for example. 
click on three dots at top right menu, click copy link, then I'll go and just adjust my clipboard, but you can paste it somewhere in your notes app and adjust this link. The only part you need is this ID. So everything what is before it, you should erase and this, and you should only leave this uh, line of numbers and letters. So I will leave this like that, copy this to my clipboard and I'll paste it right. Then let's go to Tuesday, three dots, copy link, just read all that and paste it in front of Tuesday. Now let's go to Wednesday, copy link, adjust done and paste it right here. Let's go to Thursday. So this, in the second dictionary, we should add two new items to Boolean items. Make sure they are Boolean because otherwise the shortcut will not work. So in the first true statement, we'll um, type down for example, and in the second skip. So for this, so if you have done the habit, you will choose from this dictionary this, and this will mean you've chosen the true statement. All right, so next action is called date and it will get the current date. So if today is 20th, 30th of July, the shortcut will know it's the 20th, 30th of July, like that. So now we are going to choose from menu and in this prompt field type whatever you want you can also do don't type anything here just leave it like that because it's optional and for example i will type date in question mark in the prompt in the field one today in the field two yes third day and in the third field I clear the week like that so the first option means you will go and log the habits for today the second means you will log the habits for yesterday and the third means you will clear the database clear your records and prepare for the next week so let's go to the day and what you should do now is you go and find action called format date go and format current date and let's see so click down here, click show more, and in time format click none, and in date format click custom. And in here you only need these capital E's, which will represent the first three letters of each weekday. For example, if today is 23rd of July, it is FRI. If it's 24th of July, it will be SAT and all will be capitals, all capital this. 
granted, it will not mean that all three letters of weekday will be capital. So we have formatted the current date. Now let's go and format date again. Put it in yesterday field. But before, we should also find the action called adjust date. Put it right before the format and you should change it a bit. So click on add and choose subtract, type one in the number field, select day in here and from current date. Then you go and format the adjusted date. Format it the same as uh, the today's date. Just leave only three E's in a format string. And let's move to clear the week. What you should do here is search for text field action. And what you should do here is you should paste every single URL you have in this dictionary in there and separate by new line. Just do it like I do. The process is pretty simple and not super complicated. CCEE ninety seven fifty eight. Let's count two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, seems like everything is correct. Now let's oh, uh, now let's go ahead and find for uh, find the action called split text. Put it right there, not under the in and menu, but in here. We are working on clear the week option. Keep in mind that split text by new lines, then we're going to repeat with each item in split text. Then search for get contents of URL. And get contents of not repeat item. This time we should have you should use this URL template, which I'll leave in the description below. So we'll copy it. And right after this slash mark, you should type repeat item variable. So what does it mean is each time it will repeat this action, it will sp swap out each ID here and it means it will swap out each weekday and clear its records. So now let's work on clearing the records. We should go to patch method in the headers. Uh, the first is gonna be all authorization, bearer, space, and now you should have your notion API. store it in some place like um, data jar to only put bearer in a value. It will be much cleaner, but you can store all info in the shortcut. It's your choice. The second is Notion version and it's 2210513. In request body, adding a field called dictionary call it properties inside of this add new item so um, the items here 
will be also dictionaries, but they should be called exactly like your habits. So let's put a notion in there. And each dictionary should have the exact same name as your habit. For example, running. Another dictionary will be meditation. Another one. Uh, seven plus hours sleep. Oh, here's a mistake. I chose the text field, but it should be dictionary too. And what else do I have? Journaling. So I recommend you just copy and pasting them to don't to not uh, fall into a spelling problem. And screen time hours, but we will need, it will not be a checkbox. But still, it is a dictionary. Screen time hours, like that. Then go inside of each of them. And you could do this a little bit easier, but never mind. It's a Boolean, and a checkbox, and it should be false. Leave it like that. Choose Boolean here, once more. So if you understand, uh, you can just, for example, create a running dictionary, set it up like that, and copy paste it three, three more times, because screen time will be a bit more different. Seven plus hours sleep, boolean, check box, false, journaling, dictionary, check box. Oh. Journaling, Boolean, check box, false. Let's check if everything is correct. Yeah. And screen time. It's pretty simple. Just choose number. Not don't choose text. It's a common problem, common mistake. Because we are using number, not the text. The shortcut will just give you an error because the value is not found. Number and number is zero, simply zero. Hit done. Now let's test our first function of the shortcut. I will uh, like put some random checkboxes right there. Put a five here, seven there, and let's run the shortcut. Play. Clear the week. Uh, then you should choose OK right there. And as you see, it does clear the checkboxes and screen time hours fields. So the first function of the shortcut really does work. Congrats. Now let's close this. We probably no longer need this one. Now let's continue doing the shortcut. So after the end menu, you should go and search for match text. Action. And we are going to match the we're going to match the menu result in uh, let's clear everything here so I will show you so here we have match pattern in text so we're going to match the menu result let's just uh, choose it so menu result in we're going to match it in select variable and choose the, the first dictionary we've added to the database 
with these uh, random IDs. Choose it. And that's not Finch. Click on it and you should get the keys. Because this dictionary contains the keys and values for these keys. We only need to match the current date to the key and then we will be able to get a value for the matched key. Now we're going to need an action called get dictionary value and we should get a value for matches in dictionary. And now uh, you should search for ask for input action. So uh, now we are now we begin to add records about each habit. So in my opinion, it will be great to add a screen time uh, record for the shortcut to know how many hours you've spent today on your gadget. I'll type hours in brackets. Now you should list your habits. And in this text field, you should list the habits which are checkboxes in your Notion workspace. So put it in split view again. So the only checkbox properties are running. Oh. So we will copy and paste it here. Add a new line, meditation. Then seven plus hours of sleep. And journal. Only four of them. You can add as many habits as you want. Doesn't matter. Here we have four of them. And now let's go and split. Split them by new lines. So the process is pretty similar to when we cleared the field. Uh, but now instead of IDs, we are working uh, with the habits themselves. We're going to split them again by new lines and we are going to repeat with each really handy action. So once we've repeated, what do we need to repeat? Uh, we need to repeat the choose from a list. We'll ask which list. And uh, you should remember about the second dictionary we've added to the shortcut with two Boolean statements done and skipped. So we'll repeat it with each habit we have. Instead of just putting it set, uh, four times, we we'll only use one time, but it will be repeated four times choose from dictionary and prompt. In the prompt field we can type repeat item question mark. So uh, it will, uh, repeat item means the habit and each habit will be repeated with a question mark with done or skipped statement. And do not turn on select multiple because it is the Boolean value. It should be whether true or false. And now get contents, get contents of your, uh, put it below the choose from dictionary. And in here, you should also select this URL. And it should be a variable called dictionary value. Here where we we've got the value for matches, we should get this variable. Return, show more, here it will also be the patch because instead of creating a new record, in this database we are editing the existing records. Go to headers, add a new header called authorization. Uh, then 
your bearer and your notion key. Paste it right there. Add a new header called notion version 2210513. And now once we've logged in, we will request the body. So it's gonna be a dictionary called properties. Go inside of it. Add a new item called dictionary. And now we are going to choose repeat item. And in there, we're going to use a Boolean value checkbox. And in here, instead of true and false, click select magic variable and select chosen item. Like that. And add a new item, also dictionary. And uh, let's put an ocean here. Sprint time hours. Copy this, and paste it in the key. Add a number, and in this field, in the key, type number. And in number field, select magic variable, provide an input where we've asked for a number with screen time. Select it. And my notion, my series shortcuts actually crashed. Nothing, nothing special. Two items, so let's make sure we've done everything correctly. Yeah. Pretty much, this is it. So now let's try to run the shortcut. All right, guys, let's uh, test out the shortcut, the automation, whatever you call it. Here's the habit tracking. And we will try to insert some records here. Let's run this. Oh, go here, run. Uh, for example, I wanna lock day. Screen time, six hours for screen time, I type seven hours, for example. Uh, running done. Meditation skipped. Seven hours quit done. Journaling skipped. And look at this. So it basically inserted everything we've, uh, we've answered. We've skipped the meditation, so the checkbox wasn't checked. Journaling wasn't checked. Screen time hours is seven as we've entered the number. Uh, so now let's try to, let's try to run the shortcut again and add yesterday's record. Eight hours, running skipped, meditation done. Seven hours, clip, seven hours of sleep skipped. Journaling done. And let's check it out. Yeah, everything is correct as you see. And now you can easily insert your records here. Now let's run the shortcut again and try out a feature called Clear the Week. Okay, and everything is correct. All bases have been checked out. Uh, let's try again. 
third week. Looking at these checkboxes. And why is this error popping up? So I, I really know what's the problem. So when we have been clearing the week, I forgot to put an action called exit shortcut. Exit shortcut. So it will immediately exit the shortcut once we've cleared the week. So it will not run into a conflict uh, because shortcut thinks it's not a formatted date. It's just the result, uh, just the get contents. So put exit shortcut right after the repeating of this and clear the week option. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like this video and share it with your friends who are also interested in automating his workspace. I will try to publish more content on this. Maybe I will also improve my habit tracker shortcut. And have a nice day.